everyone uh, in this video in this tutorial I will show you how to use animated shockwave effect for the shock action okay uh, let's see a few examples you can save it as a static image uh, or animated uh, GIF export uh, as a video and export as a Photoshop image sequence uh, I will show you how you can uh, do it a little bit later okay uh, let's start uh, first uh, let's install our action and our brushes go to this panel if you don't see this panel go to window action uh, next click on this icon and click load action okay uh, next we need to install our brushes go to brush presets um, again if you don't see this panel go to window and click brush presets uh, click on this icon, load brushes ok and you will see, you should do, see uh, uh, 4 brushes ok uh, open new image, uh, I have this one for my example, for my tutorial uh, we need set uh, this image, first we need uh, be sure that your image have RGB color and 8 bits per channel. Also, I recommend create image uh, with uh, more resolution that, uh, than 2000 pixels. For example, in my case it's 3000 and 2500 pixels with uh, 72 pixels per inch in my resolution ok uh, next uh, important things that your main image uh, should be set as a background with log uh, for example uh, you open your image and you have this uh, uh, picture uh, like you have a layer with name layer 0 how we can transform this layer into our background layer with lock. Select your layer, go to MA3 layer, new and click background from layer. Okay, go next, uh, create a layer, give the name mask without any caps select hard brush with a red color or any difference color also uh, we need to check that uh, our opacity of our brush is 100% ok and let's start draw over your layer and create our mask ok uh, next, we need to create another layer, second layer, with name brush. Select soft brush uh, with maybe uh, 60 or 70 pixels in this range. Select another color and draw on area where you want to see animated shockwave effect ok uh, first tip uh, when you finished uh, select your history brush and when your action will finished uh, and uh, your results will not satisfy you 
and uh, maybe you want to get another result, different results, you can always return for this point. Okay. Uh, our base set, our image are ready. Let's find our action and click play. One more thing, uh, if you don't see the timeline panel, go to window and find timeline and click and after you will see this panel. Okay, it's our base results. Don't worry, our animation uh, here. Yep. Uh, let's see what we have in our folder. Uh, animated layers and edge glow. Uh, you don't need to do anything, any changes, any. Uh, you don't need edit these folders. You can forget about the folders. Okay, let's go to Waves FX folder. We have Waves color, Waves contrast, and creating Waves color. Let's see how it works. Okay, it's pretty easy. Just drag the sliders. Okay. Next wave contrast. Uh, basically, it's uh, just levels. Okay, uh, another you can turn on gradient waves color and play with opacity. Okay, in my case, I don't need in this point, I turn off this layer. Okay, image, uh, it's our image back and uh, reduce backlights uh, in most uh, cases it's need to reduce backlights when your image have bright uh, or white background in my example I don't insist and I turn off this okay uh, what we have over image we don't need this but in some some uh, results you need that you uh, when you have a background layer it's very useful points also you can go into the style FX and play with direction okay uh, in my case uh, I don't need this again because I have uh, nice background not very bright and not very uh, with a lot of light or white fill color okay uh, and of course the standard overall core FX, uh, black white, overall tone, it's basically photo filter. Just uh, set any value and see what results you will get.
okay oral contrast just play with opacity and uh, add color turn off uh, when you turn on sorry uh, turn on this layer you don't see anything this color for adding mid-tones uh, color another color for example select uh, any color select soft brush and just paint over your image and see what we have and finally we have beauty results okay try to test for your image and find a best uh, gradient uh, best color for your image okay uh, one more thing um, for example you want to add uh, some image some vector graphics or icons anyway uh, first we need to set this slider in the beginning of the, our timeline okay and after create your layers sorry just show you what we need to get okay when you create and uh, your layers will be correct display on this animation let's see uh, if you for example forget put the slider in the beginning of the timeline these layers okay and create again test and you see uh, we create now with text layers and let's play animation it's not correct results You can of course select and drag this track in the beginning of the timeline. Okay, let's I will show you how to export SG format. I don't need this. Okay, go to file export and save for web. We need to wait a little bit I'm sure that this uh, process will be faster on your computer that uh, I have than I have because I record video and my Photoshop is working lower also after this I will show you how to export as video format and uh, if you want to export uh, Photoshop image sequence for exporting for example in Adobe After Effects or any video edition uh, program ok 
okay let's increase sorry let's make make less our resolution we need uh, we don't need it's too much uh, for example this okay and uh, the most important in this step that your looping option should be set as forever uh, another point if you want to optimize your G format just uh, switch off this stick and make lossy value about 10 but you don't need each time it depends of your image of your size okay let's see let's set our looping option and let's see what we have it's pretty nice size and okay when you set the a tick on this uh, option of course your output will be more uh, with, with more quality okay click save and let's see what we have it finally yep it's cool results let's I show you how to export as a video go to file export and click render video in this window a lot of option uh, next just click render and you will get render uh, video and if you want to export as image sequence you need select Photoshop image sequence and uh, in this window uh, this window have another option select format settings and select folder and click render and you will get your sequence for exporting sorry for importing in video editor like Adobe After Effect or Adobe Premiere or any okay uh, thanks for watching if you have any question, bugs or problem, feel free to contact me uh, through my profile on Graphic River or write to my email that mentioned on last page in readme file. Okay, bye and enjoy!